the technology nowadays is so advanced that we can actually take a look at the DNA of organisms that are over 600 million years old. And so what we did was we discovered a gene called HERC5 in an ancient fish that actually can inhibit the virus that gave rise to HIV. So what we're doing right now is we're kind of comparing, you know, this fish HERC5 with the human HERC5 and other vertebrate uh, HERC5s to understand how and why these genes inhibit or don't inhibit HIV. HERC5 is a restriction factor, which basically um, is part of intrinsic immunity. So most of the cells will express a very basal level, a very low level of HERC5. When you get infected with a virus, um, there's sensing molecules and then HERC5 will get upregulated. So it'll, the, you'll, your cells will produce a lot more HERC5 in the presence of an infection and this will help fight off the infection. And oftentimes it is successful. Uh, what we're mostly interested in finding out is how it fails in the case of HIV. When a virus uh, enters our body, it comes with it uh, several proteins that can actually inactivate our immune system. That's how the viruses survive and replicate. So they've been doing this for millions of years, so they've gotten really good at finding ways to shut down our immune system. Our immune response in return can actually combat these viruses as well. And so by trying to inactivate the viral proteins, we can sort of stay ahead of the game and, and sort of fight off these infections. But what happens over time is that the viruses want to survive. So what they do is they actually mutate in such a way that it can evade our system. And when it does that, it can get the upper hand and replicate. If left unchecked, our bodies would succumb to infection. So we actually have a very sophisticated immune system that can actually learn and, and recognize these viral proteins and change in a certain way that we maintain that interaction. And so then you get the sort of battle that uh, goes on trying for, you know, vying for supremacy. If the virus wins, we get infected and, and the virus survives. If, you know, we win, then we fight off the infection and uh, we stay healthy. We're trying to, to really understand and exploit the information about how these viruses can survive and so how they can inactivate our immune system. If we can understand how it does that, we can develop antiviral drugs that can block that interaction. And that way it gives our immune system the fighting chance it needs to overcome these infections before they set hold.